A scare at a Marion County High School. Students and staff were evacuated out of Beach Grove High School after a report of a chemical leak or spill. But we're now learning that wasn't the cause of the situation. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall is live there outside of the school tonight, and she shows us what firefighters in the district are now saying and the status of more than 20 people who had to be checked out by a doctor. Caitlin. Nicole, essentially today was a false alarm. That's because fire officials say there was no evidence of a chemical leak or a spill anywhere inside the school. But still, that didn't discount the panic that both parents and students felt. We're all wondering what happened. So nobody really knows what's going on. I'm about to have a panic attack because I didn't know if it was shooting or like a fire. Confusion and questions from students. Everybody was stressed because nobody knew it was if it was a drill or not. Both parents and students not sure what happened inside Beach Grove High School around lunchtime Tuesday. Seeing the ambulance and fire trucks, I was like, oh, so it was like serious. I was like, wow. Dozens of first responders on scene. We see hazmats out there. We see fire department, uh, EMPs, all that. It was first reported as a chemical spill after a staff member noticed a white hazy like cloud coming from the girls restroom that triggered a fire drill to evacuate everyone from the building quickly. My friends, we got a big whiff of it. It stinks when you got a smell of it. I mean, what did it smell like? It just smelled like gas, like just straight like gas. About 750 students and staff were inside at the time. Some people was like panicking or whatever. And the fire alarm went off, so we all grabbed our stuff and we went outside. The emergency sent parents flooding to pick up their kids, some unable to get to them because they were still inside the school. Um, they were quarantining her to make sure she was doing OK. Apparently she was close to whatever happened. <laughs> It's crazy. First responders seen hosing down after leaving Beach Grove High. Parents with kids still inside, uneasy. She's got a headache. She and health and from the bathroom. She did say she was coughing and sneezing a little bit, so they were concerned. Fire officials say a total of 22 people, 13 staff members and nine students reported having irritation in their throat. All of them were checked out and cleared. No one was taken to the hospital. Fire officials also say no residue was found anywhere inside the school building, meaning there wasn't a chemical leak. Above and beyond everything, I just want to make sure she's OK. Mm -hmm. Her health is most important to me. Now, all students were sent home from school for the day and all after school activities were also canceled. You should know that school officials say the school will be thoroughly cleaned tonight and classes will go back as normal tomorrow. I do want to add that school officials do say that they are reviewing all camera footage and saying that a disruption like this on the school day is absolutely unacceptable. So they say they will get to the bottom of this and they will discipline if necessary. Reporting live on Beach Grove, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Well,